us today. Cheese.com. Say hi, sissy. Sissy dog. Koopa Koop. Molly Ann. What is up, my riders? So I'm gonna show you guys real quick and make this a quick video, but I'm gonna do a rundown on everything that was wrong with the GLI and why it wasn't holding boost and why it kept blowing couplers, showing you like step-by-step -step on what I needed to change from the IS-38 to this big turbo setup. Without further ado, let's get right into it. That's the old turbo setup. And it had a plastic inlet around here. And I can show you guys the new setup. I'm actually so excited to see how this actually sounds now that it's properly done. So we'll start off with, we'll start off with the cold air intake. These boots are okay for this type of deal coming from the intake, but right here, this has a significantly different right here for the elbow, it's actually metal. But where it catches on, this worked on the plastic one for some reason, did not work on this. So I'll show you guys the brand on screen as well as the bag. This thing now is not coming off. <sighs> this boot was three inch to three inch. This one's two and 2.75 or two and three fourth to two and three fourths. And this sat on very, very tightly because of this little air pressurized system that I've had to replace in the past. I think it's like EVAP or something. But uh, my main concern was the size here. There was too much wiggle room with this so that when it actually closed it was like bending and it wasn't sealing because it just had too much area i thought he was re referencing this where the charge pipes connect but that actually is very 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 close to one another that's my charge pipe that is where the turbo um charges the air down and that's the little spooling coupler and there's no movement from that one the only movement i found was this and then I thought about it and I was like, wow, there's a lot of movement there. And then I was thinking back to what he was saying and it just did not make sense for me to think that it was the charge pipe portion. It had to be the intake portion. Going over it, it all made sense. Uh, I'll show you guys on screen, but this is the brand that I got off of Amazon Prime. I wanna shout out them because I've tried four different brands. Every brand was measuring different diameters this was the only one that I actually measured correctly in inner diameter. Is I went through like four or five before I found the one that worked. So if you guys were wondering, three inch coupler with big turbo, chances are unless you have a specifically named intake that says it's three inch all the way through, you can get away with the 2.75. Get a lot better seal, which will let me hold boost under pressure. And then I can't really get under here, but I'll show you guys. Right here also came undone because they might've moved it or it might've just broken off because of how much pressure I'm putting now with the big turbo. But now we have it double locked, so it's not going anywhere. Now we just have to test this tomorrow and see if it'll hold. We'll also definitely keep you guys up to date with the car stuff. I'm probably gonna do the reaction to the full like potential with the boost, with everything actually sealed up. Now that weird Eagle sound wasn't even like the full boost. It was like leaking noises. So I don't know if a combination of both the intake and the intercooler were leaking or I, just the intake, I have no idea, but it should make a huge difference. So tomorrow will be my reaction, I'll take it out. Haven't really had any stuff. I've been waiting for these couplers. They've come and gone. I've had to wait two days for each one. Some got backtracked. Then I have to wait and try to see if they work. Had to go through like four different ones. So you do the math. It's been like two weeks. Two weeks since I've been able to get that under wraps. So my car has just been apart because I wasn't trying to deal with it and keep blowing the same stuff over and over and then having to keep going back and changing the intake setup. So. Hopefully you guys are excited to see it tomorrow and hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video and update on what was wrong, 
but yeah the big turbo should be able to make good boost uh, and we should be able to have a lot more reliable boost now that we're not losing so much and maybe we can also figure out with the tune if there's like that has i don't know if that has affected the data logs or not he never like thought about that as like a probability so um now that we're ruling out that we should be able to make some cool power and hopefully we'll hear some cool like intake noises that actually sound normal because i can't lie to you guys i wasn't loving the bald eagle like crazy blow off noise that it was making so all right guys i love you make sure to be happy stress less i'll see you guys in the next one as always